Hey YouTube, got another another uh, Yu-Gi-Oh opening here for you, and this time it's the Legendary Hero decks. Uh, these are essentially like three of my favorite archetypes of all time. So we got Destiny Hero, Nordic, and Phantom Blade or Phantom Knights. I mean, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll open this up. Um, I'm probably not going to do any more booster boxes for Yu-Gi-Oh because they're super expensive nowadays, especially if there's just one good card in the set and everybody's buying it up trying to get that card. Uh, I noticed that with Shadows of Valhalla, High Speed Raiders, and all that kind of stuff. It's just I'm probably going to open booster boxes of, of Card Fight Vanguard. I'll still do like structure decks, special editions for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, but for the most part, it's just gonna be uh, Vanguard for the booster packs, cause, uh, or booster boxes, cause I'm a fan of the game. I just did, or I just got my first official deck, and I'm gonna start opening booster boxes to get that kind of stuff, so. All right, so we're gonna go from right to left. So we got Phantom Knights here. Let's see if we can open this. There we go. So yeah, I I bought three of these because I love every archetype of it. I liked all three archetypes of these, and uh, it came with like extra cards that were pretty. Uh, good by themselves uh, So I t I definitely recommend getting uh, At least one of these because you'll get stuff like hey twin twisters So we got Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardic Twin Twisters uh, Phantom Knights of Mistclaw Phantom Knights Breaksword uh, Number 86 Rogue Champion Ragomniad Ancient Cloak Silent Boots, Ragged Gloves, Cloven Helmet, Fragile Armor, another set, uh, got Armageddon Knight, Blue Mountain Butter Spy, Rescue Ferret, Junk Forward, another card that's good for multiple decks, Kagamucha Knight, Cockadoodle Do, Effect Veiler, see, like cards that were great for any deck really. Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Launch, two of them. Phantom Knight Spear, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, and Dark Hole. Foolish Burial, Reinforcements of the Army, Dark Eruption. Phantom Knight's Fog Blade, Phantom Knight's Sword, two of them. Phantom Knight's Wing, two of them. Phantom Knight's Shadow Veil, two of them. Uh, Shade, Brigandian, Dark Gauntlets, Tomb Shield, Lost Vambrace, Wrong Magnet Ring, two of them. Then we got Cursed Javelin, Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon, Dark Requiem Exceeds Dragon, Evil Swarm Nightmare, Evil Swarm Thanos, Thanos, Levier, Sea Dragon, and Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. So uh, that was the Fan Knights one. I'll move that out to the way. So yeah. Next up we got Nordic. I, I love uh, playing the Thor variation of Nordics because uh, I'm a big Thor fan as far as uh, Yu-Gi-Oh goes because he wields a big hammer and he can say no to a lot of things. Uh, Golvig, Tangris Nier, Dark Hole, uh, Ultra Rare, Ascension Sky Dragon, I think that was a tournament promo, Coral Dragon, Tangris Nier, Tangro Nyoshir, Garm, Golfax, Diverge, uh, Yosav, uh, Vital, or Fartalv, Mara, uh, Mimir, Valkyrie, Fanatis, Tyr, Nordic Lights, Drapnir, March Toward Ragnarok, Forbidden Chalice, Lance, and Dress, Monster Reborn, 
Soul Charge, Hey True Nade, Mystical Space Typhoon, uh, Glepnir, uh, Brisky, Brisingamen, Levitine, Gungnir, uh, Meg, Megingjor, Solemn Authority, and then Thor, Lord of Aesir. Awesome card. Loki, Lord of Aesir, and Odin, Father of Aesir. As well as we got Leo, Keeper of the Sacred Tree. Uh, Basil Zeus, the Diabolical Dragons, Basil, see, Beelzel, Diabolical Dragons, and Scrap Dragon, which is, uh, was a really good card, uh, I want to say about six years ago. And then, our final one, the Hero Deck. Essentially Destiny Heroes, mostly Destiny Heroes. If I can get this off. There we go. We got Extra Hero, Dread Decimator, Destiny Hero Malicious, Disc Commander, which got a Rata recently, uh, Destiny Draw, Extra Hero Wonder Driver, so those are the two Link monsters. Uh, Destiny Hero Dogma, Plasma, Dreadmaster, Malicious, Celestial, Diamond Dude, the best name, Dread Servant, Dark Angel, Dynatag, Drill Dark, Duo, Decider, Dreamer, Decubit, a playset. Uh, we got Elemental Hero Shadow Mist, which is a pretty heavy wanted card, as well as Blazeman. Got Destiny Draw, Over Destiny, Clock Tower Prison, Dark City, Mass Change, two of them. Polymerization, two of them. Monster Reborn for the third time. Uh, Magical Stone Excavation. Terraforming, two of them. Uh, Feather of the Phoenix. Uh, Destiny Signal. D Time. Eternal Dread, two of them. Even though it's not really necessary. Uh, D Fusion, which is not the, the. It's a trap, not the quick play spell. You got Destiny and Dragoon for Fusion. Uh, two dystopias in one of my boxes earlier I got I got three which was weird uh, two dystopia dangerous one dark claw and one Anki for mass cures so uh, that's essentially all three decks uh, I'm gonna be I'll probably do more openings I'll do more openings on Yu-Gi-Oh for like special editions that I find lowered price or uh, tins or or whatever is like a big play set but not a booster pack price you know what I mean or booster box price but uh, I will do booster boxes of Vanguard because I'm starting to collect those I have a video of uh, opening my first set of cards I've ever gotten which is uh, the Ren deck so uh Thank you all for watching. If you want to watch more openings or uh, gaming compilation videos, feel free to hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.